morning. Very windy morning. It is very windy morning, but no rain. Yet. Don't say that, there's no rain. Uh, okay. The plan today is... Like the bomb of the ball. <laughs> uh-huh. What have you got in your hand? The uh, camera. Alright. <laughs> well, I was letting you do your hand thing. We've got... Dave needs to bung up the drains. So we're gonna do a one coat today. Uh, six hours to dry, and then I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> always, always lay plans and all that. Cool. See you later. Bye. Four, three, two, one, and then drop it, and then pick. I'm just putting a bit of bitumen on the spots that I've sanded down just to give them a bit of a base. A bit like a primer, but it's just so that we've got a bit of paint on it before we start putting the first coat on the switch. Weather off it. Um, it's a bit of peace of mind, but I don't know whether I'm doing this right or not. Then. Yeah. Just the bits that free away are by going back to bare metal and just covering them up. Got enough paint to be doing all this babbling. Well, I've got 15 litres, so we haven't got enough, we're in trouble. It is enough for at least three coats. I might be wrong. Doing the research that I have done, three tins is more than enough. I'm hoping to get at least three, two definitely, maybe three coats out of it. Yeah. Your missus has just What's that? Your missus has just put the pump on and it's straight water all over your power tools. Oh, you might get on the plane but your power tools are right underneath it.
and go back to three um, thingy yeah. mablobos now. Yeah. Okay. Three rubbing strokes. Am I okay to carry yeah, on, or do you want me to wait for you? No, well, because I've got the complicated three running strokes. Yeah. It's all right. I found my uh, rhythm. Found your mojo. Found. No, oh, no. I already had my mojo, mate. Half the boat, anyway. So, how many litres is that? Five litres, that tin. But you've done the remedial work with this tin as well, haven't you? Yeah. So, how much was the remedial work? A quarter? Uh, probably on a litre at a top, if that. Yeah. So, we've got to have enough, aren't we? Uh, enough for at least two quarts, yeah. You were hoping three though, weren't you? I was hoping three. Yeah, I did do a good job, didn't I? Yeah. Back here. So one of the benefits of blasting your own boat is that you uh, don't have to spend the money to get to see what you've got, yeah? Yeah. You do get to see where you're a bad boat to, I suppose. Okay? Yeah. So clearly this much, side's taking a knock here. That's much been a bad boat trip. The wind, is it the wind? <laughs> <laughs> is it the wind?
doing it twice, Mr. Man. No, not twice, just once. Twice, okay. Once and a near miss. Once and a near miss. Indeedy. Yeah, that's it. Soft end, what I call it, you don't press it out and you don't leave lines in. Right? I'll tell you how you can quit me. Football. Just say Just hello. Hello. I'm glad I'm not out on the train. Um oh, such hard work. Dave's trying to watch football, but I just really wanted it was too windy outside so I couldn't really say anything. But you're still watching football, Dave. Yes, I am watching football. Anyway. I don't know why this couldn't wait. Really important that we get it off our chest. No, it's really important to you. We're on a trailer though, it's still very windy. Yeah, and it's rocking a bit. And the doors, you've had to put the back up because the doors were banging. Yeah. And they're still banging. Yes, they are still banging. 
And I'm still watching football. And you're still watching football. Uh huh. So, is that it? I'm not even sure that's usable. Okay. Bye then. <laughs> See you later.